I talked to um, a 16-year-old male and he had gotten into a fight with his mom over grades uh, in high school. So he took off after their big fight and he was actually underneath a bridge um, by, their, by their home. And when I asked him why he called, he said he just, he literally put in 1-800 and spelled out runaway in his keypad. Um, so for about an hour we talked about what was going on at home, how things could maybe be better, um, and just how he could be happy at home while meeting kind of these, what felt like demands to him from his parents. One that stayed with me the most was um, a transgender woman. She was the most beautiful soul. Like I could tell through the phone that she just had so much to give to the world like she I honestly I mean I feel like I'm tearing up right now like thinking about it but she was just having such a hard time um, just coming into herself she had just um, really finished her process of trans uh, transferring from a man to a woman and she just needed some help on moving forth in life because although her family was helping her, they weren't really supportive of her choices and so like when I helped her, when I finished shoot, like I literally felt like I was talking to my best friend even though I just like picked up the phone like 30 minutes before then. I actually just took a call very recently from an 11 year old and it was, I think that one will stick with me for a while because of how young he was and that there are so few resources for somebody at that age and the fact that he had been in seven foster homes in the last six years and I just felt so frustrated for him and I wanted to be able to do something more for him and he sounded defeated at such a young age. I had a little uh, teenage girl call me once who wanted to run away from home and she had been molested by several male members of her family and told her mother about the situation and her mother wouldn't believe her. And it was very, it was very intense, you can imagine. And we talked about the pros and cons and what, what is she running away from and what, do you think that the steps you're taking will end the situation for you, would be a better situation for you? Um, we came to the conclusion that she needed to go to a shelter because even when they called the authorities, they called the police and called uh, Child and Family Services, she wasn't being listened to. So we found her a shelter, and this, that, this is the difficult part of this volunteering, is that you just take them to a step. I got her to a shelter, and that was really important to me to know that, first of all, no adult was listening to her, and now she was heard, she got, had, I gave her her options, she made her decisions, and hopefully she's safe today. That's all I can hope for. You know, there was once this 17-year-old um, girl who um, was living with her mother in a very abusive home. Um, and she had called uh, the DCFS in her area to come out, and her mother was very manipulative and knew how to manage it, and so she just kind of dealt with it. Um, and she talked a lot about her abuse. But what I found so interesting about her, because I have a daughter at the time about the same age, was how she really knew what she wanted. And I was so impressed by that. I think she just needed someone to hear her story that wasn't going to be judgmental, and I always wondered what happened to her. Um, I t actually just took a call this week, um, a 13-year-old girl who had just told her parents that she was pregnant. Her parents didn't react very well to the situation and she decided to run away from home. After being away for a few days, she wanted to let her parents know that she was safe, but at the same time she wasn't ready to go home yet either. And so we provided a number of different resources, um, including letting her know about the uh, National Runaway Safe Lines message service so that she could leave a message for her parents, letting her know that she was safe. Um, as well as a shelter resource and um, a referral to uh, Planned Parenthood. 